All right, so what's up guys? Beat the Hero checking back in here. Got something really cool today. I want to give a quick shout out to Frank Henry over at Louisville for getting us all the good stuff to swing and getting it to us early so we can get these videos out before the stuff releases so that we can be able to get you guys the content when the bats drop because it's a point of interest and it's good and we want to see what it's about so we can try and pick these up before they're all gone. So what we got here today is the One Piece Louisville Slugger Genesis Balanced. This is a 27 ounce, brand new in the wrapper. I'll show you the compression stuff here in a minute. We're gonna do what Louisville suggests with most of their bats. We're gonna get it started with a couple rounds of 52s and then move into some hard stuff, Deadly Thunder Z and Pro-Ms, Evil BP Rockets, that kind of thing. So uh, we're gonna get the wrapper off this thing and get it started. So real quick, I do want to mention that if you are interested in getting one of these, be sure and use code BPHERO at HeadbangerSports.com to get yourself one. Because okay. I'm going to tell you right now, we had a lot of fun swinging this thing. I do a little bit of talking here while we get things started with the 52s, uh, which is something that Louisville uh, does suggest just to kind of avoid the paint seams that can be known to show up on some of these bats sometimes. We've had good success with hitting the 52s and not running into many issues with the paint seams. And it also seems like the one pieces also do better with the paint seam stuff as well. It's about a 70 degree day out here at uh, Atkins Park in Columbia, Missouri. Hitting on a field that is 300 feet all the way around. And a little bit of a breeze blowing in on top of us, 5 to 10 miles an hour, basically from the left field foul pole uh, across the field. Pretty much the entire time we were out there hitting. And as we were hitting these 52s here, we did notice that the bat did start out kind of tight compared to the end loaded models that we've swung from the one piece line. And we were unsure if it was just going to be something with it being so balanced that maybe it was going to be hard to get a, the barrel through the ball and kind of get it loose enough to break in, or if it was just going to be something with the nature of this bat in general. And I will say that it did seem to break in fairly quick once we got into the hard stuff. I'll kind of give you a breakdown of that stuff here in a minute, but let's talk about compression real quick before we get too far into things. As you can see, brand new in the wrapper, this thing was coming in at 288, so a little below 300, basically where we have expected most of these Louisville's to kind of start when it comes to compression. And... The one thing I'll say it seems to always hold true here with these Louisville's is they start high and still hit well, but as they break in, they get really good and then kind of hold in compression. Uh, we got this thing down to 253 on the conversion chart here. So we're thinking somewhere around the mid 250s. After about the 200 swings we put on it, we put quite a few swings on this thing. And as you can see, even with the swing count that we put on it, which was about 200 or so, this thing looks great. Almost looks new if I were to clean the ball scuffs and stuff off of it. It is approved for U-Triple-C, NSA, and ISA play. It is a one-piece bat, and it is balanced, and it is very balanced from a swing weight standpoint. It is available in 25 through 28 ounce, and I will say that if you don't like something that swings super light, you might go up an ounce. But if you are somebody that likes balanced bats and likes something kind of you can really flick around, then I would stick with the normal weight you get. And let's get into the meat and potatoes of this review here, all right? So as I mentioned, it did start a little bit slow, but uh, we noticed that after we got our swings going with the hard stuff, it was getting better and then it hit a point where it got better really fast. And you'll see that in the extras section that I put at the end of the video here. I've started doing that just to kind of make these reviews a little bit condensed for the people that just want the information. Um, there's a lot of swings on this one because we put a lot of swings on it. As it, I'll break it down from first round, second round, third round. We actually put a third round on this thing where it was just pissing fire by that point. Louisville, and their one-piece stuff is awesome. And the fact that they finally came out with a one-piece balance, it's going to be the jam. I got myself a 28 on the way because I did feel like this 27 was a little bit light for what I like. As you know, I've been swinging the 27-ounce Iron Man for a gamer, and I want to see what this thing will be like with a little bit more weight in it. I'm going to get it broke in, and then I want to compare my 28 that, I'm, that I've got ordered to the Iron Man because I'm telling you right now, this is going to be one of the best balance bats of the year. In my opinion, <laughs> I had a blast swinging this thing. Huge thanks to Louisville for sending this out to us so we can check it out for you guys. And as I mentioned, these are available at headbangersports.com. Use code BP here to get yourself one or any of the other Louisvilles. or lots of other products on there as well. Swing hard in case you hit it. Stick around for the extras here. And you can see where this thing just absolutely comes to life towards the end. Swing hard in case you hit it. BP here will catch you next time.
That was so bad, I don't even want to put it in the video, but I'm going to anyway, just because it hit the fucking fence in the air. Bro, that bitch got out there. Dude. Two hops on grass. That bitch was skipping on grass. <laughs> Balance bats, bats, pitch bats. The guy just hit stingers.